So what do you think, George? Should we start uh, listening to nursery crime finally? I don't care what he says. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back with uh, one of our favorites, Genesis. And like I said, we're going to be hopping to nursery crime. Um, I have not heard anything from this album, but I did do a little research. Um, apparently, this is their third studio album, and this is the first album to feature Phil Collins. Um, and I believe Steve Hackett as well, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I know that, like, so Mike Rutherford... Tony Banks, and um, who was the other one? Uh, Peter Gabriel. <laughs> Five seconds later. I remembered, though. Um, they were the original members. I guess the other guys left, and um, this is the first album to feature them. So I'm very excited to check this out. Um, Genesis is definitely in the top three bands that I've discovered on the channel. They, um, they're just so special to me, and they, they just captured this whimsical sense of imagination and just like creativity man and uh i'm here for it let's check this one out y'all saw this one y'all said this one was heavier i just can't talk tonight bro tongue tied here we go if you guys aren't subscribed please help a brother out click the icon right down there i'd really appreciate it. it takes like two seconds it's absolutely free and it really helps the channel out let's do this this is the musical box 10 minutes long first track on the album apparently because youtube lies to me all the time so i could be wrong Three, two, one. I haven't heard Peter's voice in so long, it feels like. <laughs> it's so distinct. Damn, that harmony is so pretty, man. Okay. That took a turn. Sinister now, okay. Ooh, okay here. Okay. I hear you, Phil. Just a little bit. Very intriguing. I don't know what to make of it just yet. That's beautiful, man. The woodwinds always add such a, like I said earlier, a whimsical touch. I like it. Dude, Hackett's been, it's so beautiful, man. It's the way that he plays. He's got such a light touch. I don't know how to describe it. All right, I got some jazz in here too. The fuck? It's very like cinematic, like theatrical almost. Play me my song. Play me my 
my song Oh my god! Go ahead, Phil. Jesus Christ! <laughs> wow! This is Genesis? <laughs> Holy shit. My brain almost couldn't handle that. Damn, that was so heavy for them. Wow, that was really good. Pounding beats, man. I love it. And what an introduction for Hackett. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> There's Rutherford. I swear. I'm... Oh, man. When you hear him, it's so good. I swear I can't hear him sometimes. It's like a heavy metal riff. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. Fucking incredible, dude. <laughs> she wow, man. She's got time. And then it like settles back down into this like kind of strange, like hair. what the hell, man? And let me get to know your face. I'm definitely listening to the rest of this album. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I love that sinister riff, then it comes in. It's so cool, man. It's so subtle. The dun 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 dun. I've been waiting here for so long. And all this time that passed me by. It doesn't seem to matter now. Expression Casting doubt On all I have to say Why don't you Touch me Touch me Why don't you Touch me Touch me Touch me Now 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 Wow <laughs> what the fuck dude all right what the fuck why have y'all been hiding that from me that's not fair <laughs> i'm just kidding no i know y'all have been edging me on to do this for a while holy shit that was fucking awesome uh I have never heard uh, that side of Genesis before, and that was just fantastic, man. What an introduction for Steve, dude. Like, that was some, like, proto, like, prog metal. Like, I, I don't even know. Like, holy shit, man. He had some blistering solos, riffs, even, like, little subtle, like, little passages he had in this, man. Like, he was all over this song. Like, seriously. Uh this definitely felt like a great introduction for him and for Phil, because Phil was back there just pounding those motherfuckers. I mean, all over the place. And uh, he also was going through a lot of different things, subtle and like kind of dynamic things, going soft and quiet, like soft to quiet and then to loud. It was, just, it was crazy. Um, they were doing all kinds of stuff. And like, I like when Genesis has like those longer songs because with same thing with like Rush, I feel like they're longer songs. They have more time for things to breathe and like the passages to grow, like kind of organically take you places. And I think when you have to like cut songs to like certain lengths just to fit on vinyls or CDs or whatever, man, I just think that is such a waste of creativity sometimes because I think there's so much more that could be, you know, I don't know, mined from that source. But uh, damn, that was such a good fucking song, man. Um, thing is, I guess the only thing I was kind of iffy on at first was coming back to Peter's vocals. Um, because, like, we've been listening to, uh, oh, my God, what is it called? A Trick of the Tail uh, for, like, the past two months, basically. And uh, I, I've not really been listening to uh, his vocals as much. Coming back to this was kind of a shock to me to hear his vocals again. And I was kind of iffy on them at first. And I was going to say, like, man, I am just straight up a Phil fan, a Phil fan you know? But, uh no, <laughs> that last minute there, dude, he just let it all out, man. I think he was just kind of doing like a, a like a bit or like, you know, kind of like a voice for like the story or the narrative or whatever kind of at first. But man, once those vocals start unleashing there towards the end, holy shit, that man's got a voice on him. It's so powerful, man. And like you can like feel his pain just like I know it wasn't that's not what he's like singing about, like, but you know what I'm saying? Like you could just feel like in like that rasp in his voice when he sings, you could just hear his entire life story in that almost in a way it's so weird and um i really appreciate his vocals like i said i'm a huge fan of selling england by the pound so like i really do love his vocals but like going to like the later genesis stuff when it had it was phil on the vocals i guess phil came into his own obviously and th they're both great vocalists i both really enjoy their work and um yeah that was so fucking cool i'm definitely gonna continue with nursery crime man because like I've found that, like, Steve Hackett is one of my favorite guitarists from this era, man, because, like, he can do it all. Like, he's not just, like, a one-trick pony or a two-trick thoroughbred, you know what I'm saying? Like, he is 
he can do anything. He's just adaptable. Whatever the song needs him, whatever the band needs him to do, he can do it and execute it like to a very, very high level. And it's just always entertaining to hear. And like it was so awesome to hear him just like let loose and like kind of put his stamp out there on the first song, which I keep saying it's the first song. I don't know if it is. That's what YouTube said. It could be the last song for all I know, but it would that that seemed like a good intro like a good first track to the album if it's got like a story or something i don't know but um you guys will let me know in the comments because uh, i'm definitely going to continue with this and i really appreciate the uh recommendation to do this album because that was fucking awesome i'm gonna continue definitely and uh genesis just continues to uh surprise me even well this is like the fourth or fifth album i've heard from them now like not fully obviously but like you know each album has its own kind of flavor you know and um wow my, my mind is still kind of spinning. I can't wait to listen to that again. So, uh, yeah, thanks again. If you guys didn't know, we have a Patreon right here. Go check it out, man. We are almost a 40 effing members. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate you all so much. Uh, I say this every time, but I have to because I truly mean it. Uh, I would not be here without you guys. I really would not. I never divulge more than that, but let's just say that. Um, and I will never not be grateful and uh, humbled before the graciousness of you guys and uh if you want a, well, a free request a month you get a certain tier and up you get a free request a month you don't have to use it and it doesn't roll over um you get to chat with me whenever you want there's a bunch of blocked videos i have patreon exclusives and uh there's me reacting to patrons music there's like two videos of that too that's pretty cool so there's all kinds of stuff it's fun go check it out and if you just want to send a request in or a donation just uh be nice there's a paypal right there i could really use it guys we are struggling, and the uh, holidays are about to hit, and the holidays are fucking terrible for me. Um, hmm. Do I want to show that? I don't know. <laughs> Hold on a second. Y'all know, like, my dad died when I was a kid. Um, he died 12 days before Christmas. Um, yeah. Isn't that the worst? <laughs> um, I laugh about it now because it's been uh, 20 years this year, uh, December 13th. Um, fuck, I hate realizing shit like that. Yeah, so, um, it's gonna be rough. I always kind of go into this depressive episode in the winter. <laughs> um, I don't mean to, obviously. It's just, I guess, a defense mechanism. Um, I've ruined my life so many times in December, it's not even funny. Because it's happened more than once, and that's just weird, you know? <laughs> I, uh... I don't want to get into all of it, but yeah, it's just a really tough time for me and I've done a lot better with it. You know, I don't like run to drugs anymore or like go and destroy my life, obviously, but I do still get kind of sad and, um, I shell up and kind of, I guess, go into myself and kind of just disassociate from everything. Cause that's what I did when I was a kid, when it happened. And, uh, I guess I'd rather do that than go out and start shooting dope again and kill myself. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm just going to take it as it comes. I'm not going to like overwork myself or stress myself out. But this channel is such a great and healthy outlet for me. Um, and this music is just so therapeutic. Um, and this isn't like knocking the stuff I listen to, but uh, the stuff I listened to before all this like new, older stuff was mostly uh, not positive. Some of it was positive. Most of it was kind of negative oriented. You know, it wasn't really building or creating anything positive. It was kind of just tearing things down and destroying things and kind of looking at what remained from it, you know? It's a weird way of explaining it, but I guess you probably get what I mean. Um, and this music has just been such a light in my life, and I, I never... <laughs> there's this one guy I hated in this program I was in. I was always paired with him, and I worked for him with a moving company. It was a weird program, but, like, he was my boss, and um, I told him the music I listened to and stuff on one of the moved, like, just rides one time. And I told him how much I loved it, and I, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he said, man, you're never going to get better till you let that shit go. And I always hated him for saying that because I think I knew he was right deep down, <laughs> seriously. And I just came to this realization over the past couple weeks. And uh, I kind of wanted to say thank you for saying that because I really did have to get away from that negative, like, infused music. It really is a detriment to you, especially when it becomes you. Like, I'm just, you know, I'm music is my everything. You know what I'm saying? So whatever music I'm listening to, I'm very into it, you know, like almost like in a weird way. And it kind of like, you know, whatever you put in is what comes out. And, um, 
that's what was coming out. And that's why I was sad all the time. That's why I hated myself, probably. You know, one of the many reasons. But, like, it's just, no, nah, it doesn't help anything. If anything, it makes it worse at the, be- at the worst. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'd rather just fill my uh, ears with something positive and creative. And the stuff that you guys have introduced me to is just almost life-changing in a way. And it's completely changed my just palate taste, like my taste in music. It's just crazy. And uh, I just say thank you all the time because it really does mean a lot and you guys have helped me in more ways than you'll probably ever understand. So I'm going to shut up. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo!